Wow. Now. No, that's not good. Okay, with those diesel engines off, now I can actually explain what we're doing out here in the hot, hot heat. Man, all week it's been above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just been scorching super hot. But we got work to do, guys. We are going to use this tool. Well, we're going to use this tool. This tool to determine whether or not our rice plants have enough fertilizer going into the reproductive phase. It's our last chance to give it a little boost for a better yield, stronger plant. We just need to know basically how healthy our plants are. I'll explain how to use this because there's handy instructions for this leaf color chart. In just a bit, that's going to be me and you're gonna be right along there with me. However, because I turned off these lift pumps that were irrigating a couple of our rice fields, I need to, well, how do I explain this? See, we have to take boards out to let water in. When we turn the pumps off, we gotta put boards back in to prevent the water to go back out. Does that make sense? Let me show you. Hold your breath. Okay, so you see this pipe here? This is connected to that lift pump that I first turned off. It was normally filling up this little pool area, and this little pool area was filling up this little field over here. There's the intake riser right over there. So water is now flowing back out of the field into this pool area because now the pump's been off. So hold on, let me just board it up. Can you see how it's just kind of flowing out? I got the trick. Okay, good. Let's hop back into the pickup, put our hip boots on, grab that color leaf chart, and see if our rice needs a little bit more of a nutrient pop right before it goes into the reproductive phase. Let's go. So the first part of my assessment of this field, I've looked all the way across it and I haven't picked a place that seems a darker green or a lighter green. This area right in here seems to be average for the field and best represents the field. One second, let me grab a plant. So I'm looking for the tallest tiller, that would be this one, and looking for the most mature leaf, which would be this one right here. Um, as the instruction book calls it, the Y leaf. Obtain the Y leaf and hold it up against the color leaf chart. Right, the color leaf chart, here it is. But I gotta do that with the sun to my back. Right now the sun's to my face, so I'm not gonna do it like this. I'm gonna hold it up like that, okay, to get it out of our shadows. Is it better on the other side, maybe? What do you guys think? I'll give you like a little close up there. Darker than five, and Equally as dark to six, maybe? Mm, not seven, I would say. I hope this is translated well on the camera. We'll see. Five, six, somewhere in there. I'd say low six, okay? So now we're gonna reference this. I said it was in between five and six. Five and six is somewhere around 3.0 and 3.3. Let's just say 3.1 to average it out. And they say 3.2 is critical, so I should add some fertilizer. So, man. We're gonna apply 100 pounds per acre of ammonium sulfate, which is 21 units of nitrogen, just nitrogen, uh, 21 no phosphorus. So we'll call up the plane. They'll fly on some fertilizer. It's not such a big deal. Jeez. That is how we determine whether or not our field is healthy or not. If we didn't have this color leaf chart and I was just holding this plant up or looking out across the field behind me, as you see, I'd say they're pretty darn healthy but 
this allows us just to better guesstimate. I need some water. Uh, that's a pretty good looking plant there, huh guys? It's pretty nice. One, two, three, four, four strong tillers, getting pretty tall. It's gonna be a good harvest. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you felt hot during this video, give me a thumbs up. You guys out in the heat checking this stuff too, or is it just me? Anyway. <laughs>